Hi my loves, welcome back! I feel really naked today because like obviously I don't have mascara on and my face is done. Um, you guys know I love mascara so today's video is going to be all about mascaras. It's actually on two L'Oreal mascaras, so the Miss Baby Roll Mega Volume Mascara and the Paradise Ecstatic mascara so they're both by l'oreal and i've heard so many good things about these two so many of you have requested um for me to try them and because i'm so obsessed to my l'oreal last sensational which is obviously probably somewhere here here it is i always have this mascara with me i kind of forget to branch out and try other mascaras i haven't had a good experience with l'oreal mascaras in the past like i've actually loved some of them there was one where it has the primer on the one side and the mascara on the other side um that was a really good one but it was such a pain to take off um i also tried the telescopic one and i didn't really like it but i've seen people use these and i feel like i could like them i'm so picky about mascaras i'm just gonna let you know like my favorite feature on my face are my lashes and I don't know I really like them to be super long super voluminous um, and do you know what it's good to tell yourself um, once things that you like about yourself because there's nothing don't, don't mean you're vain don't mean you're big-headed it's just that you like something on your face I'm sick of people like I'm guilty of it but I'm just sick of girls just being like oh, oh like I'm guilty for it like sometimes I'm like oh, I've got fat cheeks or I've got this and um, I don't like this but we never really say what we actually like about our faces but anyways my lashes are my favorite feature of my face and I can't live without mascara like honestly I need my mascara <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna do the baby roll on this side and the paradise on this side um, so this one just doesn't really say much it just says mega volume this one actually comes with a box and it says it's intense volume, spectacular long lashes, pleasure to apply. It's got rinsiness oil, extra soft brush. But yeah, um, I just shall we just get on to trying them? So I'm rambling on. So the thing that I always always do is curl my lashes. Where's my lash curler? There it is. I'm just gonna curl both lashes like I always do. I really make sure that these ones at the edge are curled out because those are the ones that are stubborn. I need to get a new lash colour though. Okay, so I'm gonna use the baby baby doll one. Baby roll. The brush kind of like spirals around. I don't know if you can see that. It's very unique. I've never seen one like this. Most of the time I tend to get along with plastic brushes rather than you know like bristle brushes. But then like for example my Bobby Brown mascara, I really like that one and that is like bristles, it's not plastic, so I don't know, it just really depends on the formula and the mascara. So what I do when I apply mascara, I just like really wiggle at the, le at the base. And I like to put a ton of layers. So when a mascara dries really quickly and I can't build on it, I don't get along with the mascara instantly. Like that's just a thumbs down for me. Like it needs to give me, like for example with Lash Sensational, it kind of dries. But not to the point where you can't reapply it. It dries but you can actually build up on it and it captures more product. And that's why I think I like it so much because it's so build buildable. And it don't make my lashes heavy. Like when I put too much mascara my lashes tend to fall. Uh, but with the Lash Sensational it doesn't do that. But I can't feel it drying yet. I really like how it's like gripping. I can feel it grip every single lash. Why my hair is like slick back like this, which I rarely ever do, is because my hair is oily as hell. Okay, and that's not shine, guys. Don't be full. That's oil slick. Okay, um, I, I, I think it's going well so far. It's combing really well. Do you know how long? Like, this has been laying on my table for like two, three days now. I just can't wait. Like, I, I kept, kept looking at them, wondering if they're good. I get so excited about mascaras. I mean, it's not bad. It's not giving us as much volume as I want to, but I'm just gonna let it dry a bit. I'm gonna do the bottom lash. I do have to say that this mascara gives a lot of length. I'm just gonna try and put one more layer on my upper lash. I'm not 
gonna lie, I like it. It's definitely much more length than volume. It gives a bit of volume, but not as what I'm used to. But it's pretty. Look at the difference, guys. I'm quite impressed. It's definitely better than other Laura mascaras I've used in the past. So yeah, I'm liking this one so far. I'm gonna see how it dries. While that one's dry, I'm gonna move on to the Paradise one. Right, y'all. Let's get on to it. Actually, I think I might like the brush. Actually, look at the brush. It's nice and clogged and clumpy, like I like it. <laughs> I swear I look for the total opposite things that people actually look for in mascaras. I like my lashes to look really like full and thick and long, you know. I've always been like that. I used to make, be made fun of my lashes. People used to call them um, spider legs and all that shit. So off the bat straight away, it doesn't apply as much product straight away like the baby roll one does. But it's giving this nice, wispy kind of look. The bristles don't grip on the lashes as much as the baby roll. I really like how it does the bottom lashes. Some clumping action going on. Can, even though I put so many layers with the baby roll, it didn't clump. And this one's starting to at the tip. Again, you, it's not drying as much to the point where I can't build up on it. I feel like this one gives a bit more volume. I just have to be careful. I think because of the brush, you just have to be careful when you apply it. Make sure to get your inner corner lashes. Those are the ones I miss out all the time. Don't you feel like there's more volume and length overall in this one? Do you know what? I'm very surprised. I thought I would love one and hate one, but to be honest, they're actually both quite good. They're both good. I, the only thing I would say is that with the Paradise one, you need to be a bit more careful because you won't be able to apply as much layers as I could have done with the baby roll because you could see that it was starting to clump up whilst this one because it has such a strong comb and it combs through every lash you can still apply loads of layers and it won't clump because it just combs through so nicely um but again this is this gives a lot of length whilst this one gives a bit more volume and length as well so then you have to be careful i like both i would use both i'm very surprised I'm very surprised actually, but I do have to say I'm liking the result of this one. Let's see if I can just reapply a coat of this one. Yeah, this one's dry, but that's okay. Like I didn't leave it for a long time. But I would say that I would prefer this one just because I like the way it's just giving bushier lashes. Whilst this one is very combed out and it gives it a lot of length. Um, so yeah, I, I really like this one. It's very similar to the Bobbi Brown one. It's not not in terms of like the brush and everything, but the result. Like I get the same result as my Bobbi Brown eye opening mascara, and this one gives the same result as the Urban Decay um, Troublemaker mascara. So they're kind of dupes for them. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say, guys. I definitely prefer the Paradise one. But I will be using both. I really like both. It hasn't been like like a telescopic one. I'm sorry, but people used to rave about it. And I'm just like, why do you like this mascara? It's like a twig. So those are my lashes. I don't know. It makes such a difference to my face. Like It really opens up my eyes. And I can see more of the Lash Paradise one. They might be very similar to you guys. But because it's me, like, I can tell. I don't know. I really like it, guys. I really like the Paradise one. Um... I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, it might be super quick. I can't rate them yet, I have to wear them for a bit and see how they wear, if they crumble or anything. Sometimes my mascara transfers here so I'll let you guys know in the info box. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you like videos like this with mascaras or if you want to see me compare other products, let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, I had tons of fun doing this video, like, I don't know, I haven't done a mascara video in a very long time. 
and I've been dying to try these two. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.